guys, it's Lisa from Salty Lashes. I am here with Megan Hess of Cut and Dry. I met Megan when I was, well actually, I won't go back to the original story <laughs> of how Megan and I met, because it's like high school funny. I'll save oh, it for gosh. another time. <laughs> But Megan's been my stylist for years. <clears throat> Megan's been in Long Beach, California for the last, how many years, Megan? 14 years. 14 years, and she's actually headed back to Arizona. So I'm gonna put her link to her Instagram and your contact information in the bio because she's one of the best, the absolute best. Thank you. So awesome. if you're in Arizona <laughs> or you're traveling to Arizona, this is your girl. Oh gosh. Thank you, I would love <laughs> to see you. <laughs> So today we're gonna to show a hairstyle on Avery and it's the Double Dutch Boxer Braids. And what I love about Megan's hairstyles is that she's so good about making them disheveled. And I think that that's like the look. You have messy, I mean, my hair's always messy, but Megan's so good about keeping the look cool. It's polished, yet it's a little bit disheveled and I think that's my absolute favorite look. And these braids are cool, really cool. Really cool. Yeah, if I wore braids, I'm weird about braids, I don't wear braids, but if I wore braids, let's start. <laughs> those would be my braids. I'm starting with some uh, Orbe texture spray. I like to leave a little bit of hair out in the front. Avery's so cute, has such a cute face, she could leave, she could go straight back. But a lot of people, it's kind of fun to just leave, leave a little bit out, uh, just so it's not so harsh on their face. We're just gonna do a Dutch braid halfway down. So I start with three pieces. What makes it the Dutch braid is doing it kind of this inside out uh, French braid. So if I'm gonna be pulling a piece from here, like I would with a French braid, instead of going over the braid, what I would do is go under and connect that one. Everyone wants to know how to do that really, you know, fat braid. Nobody really likes the tight braid, but as you're doing these, um, the best is to start out with them tight just so it holds in place. And then once you get your rubber band in or your elastic in, um, then you can start pulling it apart and it will stay secure. Avery has a couple of little short pieces right here in her hair that we're gonna just try to make work. But I never get too worried about that because I like, um, I don't know, I like a little disheveled look. Okay, so once I get to the end, I'm gonna secure that part with an elastic right here. Um, her hair is super fine, so um, I did use the texture spray, but I'm also gonna use just a little bit of a hairspray too. Um, just to kind of make it a little bit more tacky and be able to pull through, keeping it secure at the same time. You wanna make sure they look balanced. They don't have to be perfectly even on both sides but just that one side's not way fatter than the other side, um, just so they're somewhat balanced. Okay, then I'll take a piece of hair from the back. I kind of like to find a shorter piece just because I'm just wrapping it around here. Um, and you can see it's not like brushed out or anything. It kind of has a little bit of roughness to it. That's just gonna make it go around easier. Just so it hides the elastic. But I'm using these really cute gold uh, bobby pins from Scoonsy and they're just bent a little bit, which makes it nice as they secure into your hair. The gold is so much more fun than your standard black bobby pin or brown bobby pin because 
If it peeks out a little bit, then it's just a cute bobby pin. So now that we have the ponytail here, she's still just a little bit fine, so I'm just gonna kind of beef that, <laughs> beef it up a little bit with a, a back combing, just so it makes the braid a little bit fatter. Because once you braid away from the hair, it's a little bit harder to pull apart um, if it's too fine. So again, it has the texture spray in, it has a little bit of the hairspray in, but uh, a little bit of back combing will give it the volume that we want. I love these elastics from Scootsy. They, um, they don't break when you pull them and they hold really nicely. A lot of uh, these plastic elastics, sometimes they'll slip out at the bottom of a braid, but I can tell that these ones will really um, hold her hair nice and secure. So not only are we pulling it apart, uh, just to make like I said, I like that disheveled look a little bit more. Kind of roughing it up, roughing up the braid a little bit so it just looks a little bit more undone, um, more lived in, and just kind of a more, more of a fun finish. So we're all done. We have our cute boxer braids. Um, they're perfect for Avery. She's an athlete. She's on and off the field, so she can wear them in the morning to school and uh, keep them in all day and wear them for a game and be super cute in her game. Okay, so these are <laughs> the Double Dutch Boxer Braids. And I think they look so cool on Avery. We partnered with Scoonsie for this. We have some of their clear elastics, which I think we have about 500 of these and I go through them so, so quick with all the girls. We have bobby pins. We're gonna show you coming up other hairstyles using more Scoonsie products, but for now, here you go, Double Dutch Boxer Braids by Megan.